And now we're going to find the x-intercepts, which are also sometimes called zeros, for this polynomial 2x squared minus 4x minus 2. So the idea is that the function value will equal 0, and then that will be where this function crosses the x-axis. So it's either called a 0 or an x-intercept. In the future, we'll be using either factoring or quadratic formula to solve this equation. This section is getting us comfortable with the graphing calculator. So we'll do it by graphing y equals and then 2x is squared subtract 4x subtract 2 and then go to zoom number 6 standard window there's the parabola there are two places where it crosses the x-axis, right here at about 2.5 and right here at about negative 0.5. To find those values exactly, we're going to use calculate. Second, calculate. And it's number two that we're going to be working with, the zero. Now what we need to do is pick a value just a little bit to the left, pick a value a little bit to the right, and then a guess. So a little bit to the left would be this 2. So just type in a 2 and enter. Puts a marker on the screen saying, OK, I'm going to look from there over to now pick something on the right, say 3, and enter. So it says, all right, I'm going to look in between these two values, between 2 and 3. And what's your guess? 2.5. Hey, not bad. 2.414. Now let me sketch a graph of what's going on. We've got the parabola about like this. And we just found out that this x-intercept is at 2.414. And now to find the other one. So we'll go back to second, calculate. And number two, the zero. And over here to the left, so I think this value is at negative 0.5. To the left of it would be negative one. So start on the left, negative one. On the right hand side would be zero. And my guess is that the answer is negative 0.5. Turns out that it's negative 0.414. So negative 0.414. And there are the two x-intercepts.